Hi friends, welcome to Talent Sprint's Banker's Choice program. In this session, we are going to discuss the topic called Profit and Loss. And as discussed in the session of percentages, this particular topic is mostly based on the concept of percentages. So if we are able to apply the concept that we have discussed in percentages, solving the questions from this area will become really very simple. Let us first understand what is meant by profit and loss. In any business transaction, whenever an article is sold, the seller either makes a profit or he makes a loss. Let us first understand how does this happen. For example, let's say there are two persons A and B. That is like A is the shopkeeper and B is the customer. So we can say that A has sold an article to B or B buys an article from A. Now as you can see here, when A wants to sell an article to B, he should first of all possess that article. How can A get that article? Either he should buy it from someone else or he himself has to manufacture it. Now in both the cases, he has to spend some money in acquiring the article. For example, let's say A has got the article from someone else. A has bought the article from someone else. So he has to pay some amount to the other person. Or if he himself manufactures it, he has to spend some money in the manufacturing process. So this amount which A spent in acquiring the article is called as the cost price of the article. So in simple terms, we can say that cost price is nothing but the price at which you buy the article. So we can say that cost price CP is equal to the price at which the article is bought. Now, after buying the article, A sells the same article to the other person B at some value. So, the price at which A sells the article to B is called as sale price or the selling price of the article. And that generally is taken as SP. So, we can say that selling price is nothing but the price at which the article is sold. So, cost price is the price at which the article is bought and selling price is the price at which the article is sold. So here A has got two different values. One is the cost price of A. Let us take it as CA and the other one is selling price of A that is equal to SA. Now depending on which is higher, is the cost price higher or the selling price higher, we can find out is it a profit or loss. For example, let's say that the selling price of the article is higher than the cost price. So in that case, you can understand that A has bought the article at some value and he has sold it at a higher value. So the difference of these two values is the gain which is made by A, which is called as profit. And in case, if the cost price is higher than the selling price, in that case, the person A here makes a loss. Why? Because he has bought an article at some value and sold it at a lesser value. So the difference here is the loss made by A. So profit or loss is nothing but the difference between cost price and selling price. If the selling price is more, we get a profit. And if the cost price is more than the selling price, then we get a loss. Let us assume that there is one more person C. Now B here buys the article from A and sells it to C. So again B also will have one cost price which, which we can take it as CB and one selling price which can be taken as SB. Now as discussed earlier cost price of B is the price at which B bought the article from A and selling price is the price at which B will sell the article to C. The important point to be noted here is selling price of A should be same as cost price of C. Selling price of A will be equal to cost price of B. Why? Because this SA is the price at which A sold the article to B and CB is the price at which B bought the article from A. Similarly, if C sells this article to D, so again C has got a selling price and a cost price which we can take it as SC and CC respectively. And if you observe here, this is the price at which C bought the article and this is the price at which C will sell the article to B. So again, selling price of B will be equal to cost price of C. So the point to be observed here is always selling price of one person will be equal to the cost price of the next person. So in all these cases, when an article moves from one person to another, we can understand that selling price of one person will become the cost price of the other person. So what we have learned so far is what is cost price? It is the price at which an article is bought. What is selling price? The price at which the article is sold. And the other point that we have understood here is selling price of one person should be equal to the cost price of the next person. And as discussed, profit and loss both are nothing but the difference between selling price and cost price. So profit is obtained 
when selling price is more than cost price. So profit T can be taken as S minus C, where S is nothing but the selling price and C is the cost price. So from now onwards, whenever we use the term S, it means it is selling price and the term C indicates the cost price. So profit is equal to S minus C, the difference of selling price and cost price. And the loss L can be taken as C minus S. Here C is the cost price and S is the selling price. So as you can see here, the profit T is taken as S minus C because selling price is more than cost price. And the loss L is taken as C minus S because cost price is more than the selling price. But in general, we can say that profit and loss is nothing but the difference between the cost price and the selling price. So for example, let's say that cost price of a pen is 8 rupees and the selling price of the same pen is 12 rupees. So we can say that the profit made that is S minus C will be equal to 12 minus 8 that is 4 rupees. Similarly, if the cost price of an article is 25 rupees and the selling price let's say is 18 rupees, then in this case we can understand that since the selling price is less than the cost price, it is going to be a loss. So the loss L can be calculated as C minus S which is equal to 25 minus 18 that is 7 rupees. So this is how the very simple calculation of profit and loss in terms of rupees can be done as S minus C or C minus S respectively. After learning about how to find out profit or loss in terms of rupees, let us now understand how to calculate profit and loss in terms of percentages. As discussed earlier, it is customary that we always calculate profit or loss in terms of percentages so that the comparison becomes simple. For example, if I say that there are two businessmen, businessman A and businessman B. Now, when we say that A has made a profit of 10 rupees and B has made a profit of 100 rupees, we simply cannot compare their profit in terms of rupees. It is important that we convert these profits in terms of percentages and only then a proper comparison can be done. It would be wrong if we simply come to a conclusion that B is making more profit when compared to A. Why? Because profit which has been obtained is always on the investment made. So we always need to consider the investment before we compare the profits of two persons. For example, let's say that A has bought an article for 10 rupees. His cost price is 10 rupees and he has sold the article for 20 rupees. So we can understand that how businessman A has made a profit of 10 rupees. Cost price is 10 and selling price is 20. So profit would be 10 rupees. And B who has made a profit of 100 rupees, for him the case may be that he has bought an article for 4000 rupees and he has sold it for 4100 rupees. So that's how he makes a profit of 100 rupees. Now if we try to compare the profits here, the profit made by A, 10 rupees, is on the investment of 10 rupees. That is nothing but the cost price. A has spent 10 rupees to obtain a profit of 10 rupees. Whereas B has spent 4000 rupees to obtain a profit of 100 rupees. So if we try to compare their profits in terms of their investments, we come to a conclusion that A actually is making more profit when compared to B. So that is the reason we always calculate profit or loss in terms of percentages so that the comparison becomes simple. So let us see what are the formulae to be used to find out profit and loss in terms of percentages. As discussed earlier profit is nothing but S minus C that is selling price minus cost price and loss is equal to C minus S. Now profit percentage can be taken as profit by cost price into 100. And since we know that profit is equal to S minus C, we can say that the profit percentage is S minus C by C into 100. Similarly, the loss percentage can be taken as loss by cost price into 100. And since we know that loss is equal to C minus S, the answer here will be C minus S by C into 100. So simply remember that profit percentage is S minus C by C into 100. And loss percentage is C minus S by C into 100 or nothing but profit by cost price into 100 and loss by cost price into 100 respectively. Now the important point to be observed here is we are calculating both profit percentage and loss percentage on the base of cost price with respect to cost price. If you look at this profit percentage is profit upon cost price into 100 and loss percentage is loss upon cost price into 100. So very clearly the profit and loss when calculated in terms of percentage it is with respect to cost price. So remember that cost price should always be taken as the base value whenever we are solving questions from profit and loss. And here when we say that cost price is base value, it means nothing but cost price should always be taken as 100%.
So in any question that we solve, always we can start with cost price as 100% and accordingly we can find out profit and loss or selling price. Let us first see an application of these two formulas. Let's say that the cost price of an article is 400 rupees and the selling price is 500 rupees. We are supposed to find out the profit percentage or the loss percentage. And as we can see here, since the selling price is more than the cost price, it definitely has to be a profit. And hence, we need to find out the profit percentage. And we know that percentage of profit can be taken as S minus C by C into 100. So we can say that the answer here is 500 that is the selling price minus 400 the cost price by 400 into 100 so this comes out to be 100 by 400 into 100 or nothing but 1 by 4 into 100 which is 25 percent so the profit here is 25 percent so this is how we can use the formula for profit percentage to find out the answer when the selling price and cost price are given to us and similarly, we can use the second formula to find out the loss percentage when cost price and selling price are given. 